is Monday, March 25th, how much time for rapture? Then this Wednesday to Thursday, how much time for rapture? March 27 to 28 is the 17th day of the first month in Ela calendar. Then the end of the month, March 31st to April 1st, how much time for rapture? It's the 21st day of the first month in Ela calendar. So far this month's been quiet and calm. The only thing in the news to distract people is the royal family's debacle. Last week they published a video of Kate announcing herself to have cancer. Now I can come up with two different scenarios that they might go with either one. The first one is the adaptation of the book I Am Legend in 2007. In this version, the infection is caused by a vaccine originally intended to cure cancer. Some vampiric elements are retained, such as sensitivity to UV light and attraction to blood. The infected are portrayed as nocturnal feral creatures of limited intelligence who hunt the uninfected with berserker-like rage. Other creatures, such as dogs, are also infected by the virus. Lately in the news, uh, they've been promoting the UK scientists developing the world's first lung cancer vaccine. So if they are using the I'm Legend synopsis, then um, the as a result will be um, like a walking dead scenario. Everybody turn into zombie. And then the second scenario is related to the news case cancer caused by mRNA COVID vaccine. So if they go with this touch trajectory, I think they might be plotting to announce the um, deadly side effect of mRNA COVID vaccine than to, um, to cause civil unrest worldwide so that they can introduce the Antichrist as a savior and force everybody to take the mark of the beast in order to prevent any illnesses. I don't know which way they will go, but um, let's see what will happen in the next few weeks. The third book of Enoch, chapter one. Rabbi Rishmael ascends to heaven to be whole division of the Merkaba and is given in charge to Metatron. And Elo walked with God and he was not, for God took him. Genesis 24. Rabbi Ishmael said, When I ascended on high to behold the vision of the Merkaba and had entered the six halls one within the other. As soon as I reached the door of the seventh hall, I stood still in prayer before the Holy One, blessed be He, and lifting up my eyes on high towards the Divine Majesty, I said, Lord of the Universe, I pray Thee that the merit of Aaron, the son, the son of Amram, the lover of peace and pursuer of peace, who received the crown of priesthood from the glory on the Mount of Sinai, be valid for me in this hour so that Kavsil, the prince and the angels with him may not get power over me nor throw me down from the heavens. Forth with the Holy One, blessed be he, sent to me Metatron, his servant Ebib the angel, the prince of the presence, and he spreading his wings with great joy came to meet me so as to save me from the hand. And he took me by his hand in their sight, saying to me, Enter in peace before the high and exalted king, and behold the picture of the Merkabah. 
Then I entered the seventh hall, and he led me to the camps of Shakina, and placed me before the Holy One. Blessed be He to behold the Merkaba. As soon as the princes of the Merkaba and the flaming seraphim perceived me, they fixed their eyes upon me. Instantly, trembling and shuddering seized me, and I fell down and was benumbed by the radiant image of their eyes and the splendid appearance of their faces. Until the Holy One, blessed be He, rebuked them, saying, "My servants, my seraphim, my cherubim." And my offering, cover ye I ye your eyes before Ishmael, my son, my friend, my beloved one, and my glory, that he tremble not nor shudder. Forthwith, Metatron, the prince of the presence, came and restored my spirit and put me upon my feet. After that moment, there was not in me strength enough to say a song. Before the throne of glory of the glorious King, the mightiest of all kings, the most excellent of all princes, until after the hour had passed. After one hour had passed, the Holy One, blessed be He, opened the opened to me the gates of Shekina, the gates of peace, the gates, the gates of wisdom, the gates of strength. The gates of power, the gates of speech, deeper, the gates of song, the gates of Christasia, the gates of chant, and he enlightened my eyes and my heart by words of song, song, praise, exaltation, thanksgiving, extolment, glorification, hymn, and eulogy. And as I opened my mouth, uttering a song before the Holy One, blessed be He, the Holy Cherub. Beneath and above the throne of glory, answered and said, "Holy and blessed be the glory of Yahweh from the from his place." So, Metatron is Enoch, his glorified body. Then now I'd like to discuss chapter twenty-six, Seraphim. The prince of the seraphim, description of the seraphim. Rabbi Ishmael said, "Metatron, the angel, the prince of the presence, said to me, 'About this, there is one prince, wonderful, noble, great, honorable, mighty, terrible, a chief and leader, and a shift scribe, glorified, honored, and beloved.'" He is altogether filled with splendor, full of praise and shining. He is wholly full of brilliance, of light and of beauty, and the whole of him is filled with goodness and greatness. His countenance is altogether like that of angels, but his body is like an eagle's body. Why are they called seraphim? Because they burn seraph. The writing tables of Satan. Every day, Satan is sitting together with Samuel, the prince of Rome, and with Dubiel, the prince of Persia, and they write the iniquities of Israel on writing tables, which they hand over to the seraphim in order that they may present them before the Holy One, blessed be He, so that He may destroy Israel from the world. But the seraphim know from the secrets of the Holy One, blessed be He, that He desires not that this people Israel should perish. What do the seraphim every day do? They receive. Accept them from the hand of Satan and bump them in the burning fire over against the high and exalted throne, in order that they may not come before the Holy One. Blessed be He! At the time when He is sitting upon the throne of judgment, judging the whole world in truth. So seraphim, seraphim, the priority is to burn all the notes. From Satan, Samuel, and Dabio. I don't know who is Dabio. 
is is extremely interesting because Satan is the devil, the son of the devil. So he is the devil, and then Samuel is the leader of the leaders of the fallen angels, the prince of Rome. So that's why, um, the Roman Empire is so powerful. Also, the Bill, the prince of Persia, and so I think. Persia Empire and the Roman Empire have been the dominant ones in the world.